Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And today, I'd like to do a deliverance prayer from the influence of this world. But for us to understand this deeply, we must relate it to Scripture and also for our current age. Because today, we're dealing with the spirit of this world and its influence that has made its way and is preparing the way for the antichrist so we just have to look around us today we can see even the recent influence of the olympic games opening which was a blasphemy against christ and then all of a sudden we see the olympics pulling it down because they clearly knew what they were doing in their exposure talking about the pale horsemen talking about the demonic agenda that they have now remember everything we see today is just a preview of what will take place during the tribulation pressure saints now another one that was in the headlines recently was of the tragic death of the 36 year old african-american lady uh, sonia massey by a police officer and when you watch the video you see clearly she rebukes the spirit of the antichrist spirit that is within in the police officer as she does this the police officer reacts and starts to fire at her pressure saints the evil has increased around us and everything is just a preview as i said of what is about to be released after the ecclesia that is the called out remnant bride that will be raptured and snatched away so it's important that we try to draw a scriptural line of uh, demarcation between that what is worldly and that what is of God. Now, when we read according to the scripture, it says, according to 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. So let's look at this verse closely together. The them that is speaking in the scripture is the people that are motivated by the spirit of the Antichrist uh, if you look at this particular context. So it's people that are motivated by the spirit of the Antichrist, by the spirit of this world. So he who is in you is the spirit of god which is greater than the spirits that are in this world now when we also look at 1 john chapter 4 from verses 5 to 6 it says they are of the world therefore they speak as of the world and the world hears them we are of god he who knows god hears us he who is not of god does not hear us by this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So let's look at this. We always need to be cautious, precious saints. If we get too close a hearing from the world, because the world hears the things that come from the spirit of the world, the influences of the things of the worldly things, worldly music, worldly movies, worldly friends, worldly things. We're going to be influenced by those things. See, those that are spiritually blind will not see this because many of us have become so used to being friendly with the world that we can't conceive that there could be anything wrong with that. And that's why we see so many Christians. They, they are attending worldly concerts. They are uh, going to all these people that are using witchcraft in their movies, in their concerts, in their music. And people are influenced this. And unfortunately, Christians have also come on board with that. So that's why we have worldly Christians. Now, James says that friendship with the world is enmity with God. So in verse 6 of James, it says uh, here, it says that we are of God. He who knows God hears us. 
he who is not of God does not hear us. So let's not be worried if not everybody listens to us. The reason they don't listen to the truth is that they are not of God. And by this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So precious saints, maybe your family, your loved ones, whoever it is, maybe you're worried that they're not listening to you, not hearing the truth. They can't even listen. They are deafened to it because they are influenced by this world. Now, the spirit of truth is the Holy Spirit. The spirit of error is of the ways of describing the spirit of this world. The error means wandering away from the truth. So it departs from the truth. There are many that have departed hearted from the truth now if we also look at the scripture we can see also uh according to 1 corinthians chapter 2 verses 12 to 14 let's go a little bit deeper now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from god that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by god these things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but that which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. Let's look at this. They're discerning only by the Spirit, not by the soul. The second difference I want to look at here is the Spirit of God reveals the things of God. He is the only one who can reveal the things of God to us. So anybody that's influenced by the Spirit of God, there can be a spirit of revelation on them because they're speaking with the help of the Holy Spirit. But the spirit of this world, the man who is under the control of the spirit of this world, cannot even comprehend the things of God, even when an anointed man of God is speaking influenced by the Holy Spirit, they can't. They'll say this is just foolishness to them. So then we also see according to John 16 verse 14. So we see that there is a, a, a difference of the spirit of Jesus that gives also the spirit of truth. So it says, according to the word of God, it says, However, in verse 13, however, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. Then it goes on in verse 14. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. So notice this again, precious saints. The revelation ministry of the spirit of truth. He takes of what belongs to God, the Father and God the Son, and declares it to us. He is the keeper of the storehouse. He has all the keys, precious saints. So notice that statement again in verse 14. He will glorify me. So one thing that we can uh, bear in mind is that the Holy Spirit, his supreme task is to delight in the glorification of Jesus Christ. So if it attracts attention to a man, an organization, a ministry, some area of truth, but doesn't glorify Jesus, there's probably isn't very much of the Holy Spirit in that place. And there are a lot of churches, unfortunately, where the Holy Spirit is not very well present. So Jesus needs to be the major theme of our third services, of our ministries from the beginning to the end the holy spirit delights to honor jesus so if you find that the spirit of god doesn't seem to be moving in your life the way that you would have wished devote yourself to honoring jesus and see what he will do for you precious saints but the opposite is true for the spirit of this world its focus is on man not on christ it is a human man centered and it has a religion which has come within these last days that is called humanism the religion of this world is humanism which means 
focus on men. So all satanic cults, Freemasonry, and all other things point it back to man being a god, to man worship. And that's why we see also the number of a man. The Antichrist has a name, which also has a number. And you know that number, it is 666. But it says that his number is the number of a man or the number of man. So humanism is a religion which will raise up the Antichrist pressure saints. In fact, it's getting ready to do that right now with everything that we're seeing taking place around the world. So again, a basic difference. The Spirit of God focuses on and exalts Jesus. The Spirit of this world focuses on man, exalts man, talks about what man can do and what he is going to do. So it's all about I, 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 I. It's religion. It's humanism. Precious saints, when the Bible mentions something three times, it means and brings the emphasis to the highest extreme. So 666 is complete physicality, disconnected from spirituality. Hence, it is the mark of the beast because you are nothing more than an animal. So if all you do is pursue your physical desires, appetites and wants you become just like an animal we need to understand that humanism hates christians are you aware of that fact you better be because it is theological but i mean theoretically they ought to tolerate us just like any other group among many but they don't they are deadly enemies we have yet to see what they'll do to us because of one who restrains them we know that the church that is empowered by the holy ghost is the one that restrains that from taking place and we are in that hour where god is about to take away the one that is holding back the one that is restraining now the bible says clearly in matthew 16 verse 18 and i also say to you that you are peter and on this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against you let me repeat that again the church of jesus christ it is saying that the gates of hell shall not prevail against you now why would hell need gates why would it need a fence if it was not trying to defend itself the church is on an offense we are marching saints and we are hell's worst nightmare but it shall not prevail against us so when we read from scripture we read from daniel 7 verse 21 it says this is talking about the antichrist i was watching and the same horn was making war against the saints and prevailing against them it's saying to prevail but here in matthew 16 verse 18 it says the gates of hell shall not prevail against them because precious saints the old testament saints the new testament saints and the tribulation saints are three different category of saints precious saints that's why in revelation 13 verse 7 it says it was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and authority was given to him to every tribe so they he was able to overcome them but in matthew 16 verse 18 he was not able to prevail precious saints when i call you precious saints that is because god has chosen you to be a new testament saint that the gates of hell the antichrist shall not prevail over you because the day of the rapture shall come and you will be snatched away that you will escape 
this persecution, this tribulation to come, precious saints. Why does it say? Why did Jesus Christ say according to Matthew chapter 11, verse 11, it says, John the Baptist was the greatest of all from a mother's womb, but he shall be the least in the kingdom of God. You know why he was greater? Because he was at the, he was from the Old Testament prophets. He was the one that got to see the Messiah, got to see him in person, and he was declaring what he would do. But it says that he will be the least in comparison. What does that mean? What does that mean? Because, but all believers after the cross are greater still because they participate in all full understanding and experience of something John merely foresaw in shadow form, the actual atoning work of Christ. Precious saints, we are the New Testament saints. You will not go through the tribulation. That is why the spirit of this world is against us, is striving against us, but it cannot prevail against the New Testament church. Those that are left behind during the tribulation, they will be attacked by the Antichrist. They will be attacked by those with this humanism spirit, this worldly spirit that is waiting to savagely attack those that have been left behind and precious saints. The problem with the church today is they have a replacement theology where they look at Matthew 24 and they say that is the church. See, when, a, when the church decides to say, okay, we're going to take the place of Israel, that is what they call replacement theology. The Jews and their time of salvation will come during the time of the tribulation. There will be some that will also get saved that are left behind that may come into the truth, but it won't be in the same way that it is now. We are in that time of grace and the time of grace, the New Testament church, when I call you precious saints, that's because you have been sanctified and cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ and the gates of hell shall not be able to prevail against us. Precious saints, we are in a spiritual battle. It is time to pray. It is time to allow God to prepare us and don't allow anybody to steal your crown in the name of Jesus Christ. We are in the end times. We are contending for revival. We are believing the revival shall come to prepare an end time remnant that will be the ecclesia that are about to be raptured and taken and caught away because we will not be prevailed against against the enemy that is going to happen to those that are left behind in the tribulation that will happen to the Jews because they denied him the first time so let us pray now precious saints that this influence of this world will have nothing against us somebody say hallelujah heavenly father in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we come before you today through the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, to repent of all of our sins within our life and also the lives of our ancestors that may have resulted in any type of curse upon our family lines. We repent of all disobedience. We repent of all worldliness and all doors that we have opened to the spirit of the this world to the spirit of humanism to the spirit of man oh lord we pray and ask forgiveness for all rebellion mistreatment of others lying cheating using of slandering even of your name in vain oh lord we repent hint of all perversion, lust, incest, fornication, adultery, Lord, idolatry, all witchcraft, murder, and any occult involvement, any secret societies, Freemason, and every fraternity, and every other association with every other false religion today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, for all the unanswered questions that may also plague our minds. Lord, I pray that have even left many in a state of confusion and uncertainty through the 
deception of the enemy. Lord, I pray and come against all those lies, even those that have been trapped in a labyrinth of mysteries, Lord, with shadows of doubt. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would deliver them and give them a sound mind today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you will bring your calming presence to each person, even in a time of chaos and turmoil that is happening around us. You have promised that the spirit of this world and the spirit of hell and Satan shall not prevail against us. I declare today you will deliver your people. We pray for your deliverance even from these tempting times of darkness that threatens and even may overwhelm us oh lord i pray in the name of jesus christ lord i pray blessed be the lord our rock who trains our hands for war and our fingers for battle the lord himself will fight for us when we just stay calm all honor and glory are to you you are our eternal king the unseen one who never dies he alone is god and we cry out to you father today we pray that you would deliver us from evil lord our world is in turmoil deliver us from all the hate deliver us from all the violence deliver us from all the sickness that has polarized society raise up people of reason wisdom and goodwill we sometimes fear that we will experience lord the things of your wrath but lord i pray that you've promised to protect us and be with us always we break all spoken curses and spells that may have been performed over our lives or any curses resulting from involvement with any type of occultic practices uji boards psychics tarot cards uh, horoscopes, any type of secular music, any type of secular movies, TV, pornography, anything we have opened the doors to wash us and cleanse us today. We break all curses off our family, our marriage, our children and relatives. We break every shackle, chain, cord, habit, craving, debt, soul ties and any spirit that has tried to rob, kill and destroy our lives. We command right now our families to to be set free. We break every demonic assignment over our family, Satan. You will loose them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Destroy right now. Lord, I pray that you would destroy the power of the devil. Lord Jesus, whatever influence he has had, any hangovers or remnants of the power of his influence, we ask you for to remove them from our family and our lives and be destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you talk Told us to submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from us. Jesus, we now submit ourselves to you. Please forgive us of all of our unyieldedness, our unwillingness, our hardness of heart, or resistance to you and to your spirit. And we ask you, Lord, to please create in us a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit in us. Lord, we can't do it on our own. We can't get the victory without you. We can do nothing, but, oh, Lord, through you, we can do all things. Lord, I pray that you would strengthen each of us. Lord, we present ourselves to you right now. Oh, Lord, empower us and cleanse us from everything and anything that is not of you. Lord, we don't want anything that is not of you. Oh, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, righteous Father, we are not fighting against flesh and blood and enemies, but against every ruler, evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers and evil spirits in the heavenly places. Today, we dress ourselves with the armor of God as we're able to stand firm against all the strategies of the evil. We will stand our ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body of the armor of God's righteousness. Oh Lord, being fully prepared, we put on all of our shoes of peace that come from the good news of the gospel and hold up the shield of faith to stop the fire arrows of the devil. We put on the helmet of salvation and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We will always pray in the spirit and on every occasion, staying alert and being persistent in our prayers for all believers everywhere. We stand firm against every 
every demonic attack in the form of active Lord things that are taking place within our societies oh Lord no weapon is turned against us will succeed we silence every voice raised to accuse us for the Lord is our vindicator the thief may come to kill steal and destroy but the Lord has promised to give us rich and satisfying life we declare that every enemy is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord help us right Right now, even when we're weak, Lord, we ask for you to be our strength. Oh, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Hold nothing back from us, oh, Lord. Lord, we paralyze every spiritual force of darkness and silence them in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray that the angels of war trained to destroy evil and wickedness be sent to help us right now on this battlefield right now in Jesus mighty name we draw our sword of the spirit and destroy any and all evil that's trying to destroy our life in the spiritual realm right now we command that all demonic and witchcraft weaponry along with any dark materials that are coming against us to be destroyed by the fire of God in Jesus mighty name we command that every evil satanic judgment assignment and witchcraft that is coming against us and our destiny to be destroyed and to end now in Jesus mighty name we pray that you will give us all wisdom knowledge and discernment needed by uh, to always be ahead lord of the plans of the enemy the plans of the devil that is trying to bring upon us or against your people today in jesus mighty name we command that any and all evil that has been planned to stop or eliminate any blessing that god has for us to be destroyed and for all of god's blessings to come forth now in jesus mighty name oh lord we pray in the name of jesus christ oh lord we resist the adversary the devil and we trust you to deliver us from all temptation give the victory oh lord we rebuke you Satan him may god condemn you devil in the name of jesus be removed from our life so we bind the power of the devil right now and command them to get out to get away from us from this house from our surroundings from our properties from our neighborhood from our workplaces from our children from our marriages never to return in jesus mighty name we know that you are the victor jesus for this purpose that the son of God was manifest that he might destroy the works of Satan and Lord we pray today that devil is defeated already Satan trembles when he sees even the weakest saint upon their knees so even though Lord we may feel weak and helpless and have no power of our own greater are you Jesus within us Lord than he that the spirit of this world lives oh Lord I pray Lord we rebuke and drive away Lord every curse of devils in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord we rebuke you evil spirits wherever you are wherever you are doing we pray today because the Lord shall deliver us from every evil work and will preserve us until our heavenly kingdom oh Lord I pray in the name of Jesus Christ Lord Jesus we now take authority that you have given to us and ask that you would anoint us right now as we command all demonic spirits of anger, rage, fear, depression, destruction, torment, guilt, bondage, vagabond, rejection, unforgiveness, bitterness, mind control, double-mindedness, confusion, passivity, sickness, disease, pain, Lord, all addictions to food, alcohol, drugs, sex, pornography, gambling, or nicotine to come out of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. No demonic spirit is welcome in a holy temple. Therefore, we declare that we are children of God. We are a temple of the Holy Spirit and command every spirit to come up and out and leave them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for being our warrior Yahweh is your name thank you Lord God for what you are doing you fight against our enemies and give us victory thank you for enabling us to take our position to stand still and to watch the Lord's victory
victory. Every evil, wicked, bad spirit, we resist and rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver each person, O oh Lord. Lord, we rebuke any ancestors or relatives or former friends or foes that have also sent curses our way by means of any spirit. Lord, we command those things right now to be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, every curse is broken. Every curse is broken over our lives. Protect us and deliver us from all evil influence, from their bitterness, from their hate, from their curses. Oh Lord, I declare today that the spirit of this world who's attacking or fighting or hindering us, we resist them and we command them right now to go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us O Lord for thy word it is the sword of the spirit and we pray today that you would deliver us fight the enemy help us Jesus to fight the enemy to resist him so that he will flee with all of his temptations and all of his lies today in the name of Jesus Christ we rebuke you Satan in Jesus name you evil devourer and destroyer we rebuke you oh God I pray in the name of Jesus Christ we refuse to worry to to fret or fear anymore because we love and we are trusting in you Jesus we know that you love us we know that you hear us we know that your love your power your strength and your spirit is much stronger and greater than any devil Lord and any demons that may be mustered by Satan himself deliver us Lord from all the devil's doubts and fears and lies and help us to trust in you always deliver us us also from pride and self-righteousness Lord we resist and rebuke any demons of pride in Jesus mighty name oh Lord I pray that you would deliver us from every horrible besetting sin of pride and everything that would trap us help us Lord not to be rebellious and stubborn and self-willed Lord I pray in the name of Jesus set us free today in Jesus mighty name Holy Spirit help us to stay alert and to watch out for the enemy, the devil, who prowls around like a roaring lion, Lord, looking for someone to devour. Holy Spirit, help us to stay alert and to watch out for our enemy, the devil, who prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. And Lord, although we are just flesh and human, Lord, I pray that you would help us to fight in the mighty way through your word, through the Spirit, because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, taking every thought captive under the obedience of Christ. Teach us to humble us before you, Lord, that we may resist the devil and he will always flee from us. Oh, Lord, we thank you as we embrace you today. You have not given us a spirit of fear or timidity, but of power our love and of a sound mind. Merciful Father, forgive us for all of our acts of sinfulness. Forgive us for not standing in our power and authority as your sons and daughters, but forgive us for failing to recognize that the Spirit who lives in us is greater than that which lives in this world. We command every negative word that has been spoken, any cartations, any hexes or vexes that have been placed upon any person today let them be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ let them be destroyed by the fire of God even any soul ties any witchcraft or any counteracting things that are working against your people today in the name of Jesus Christ we use the name of Jesus as a weapon of war to break down to blow up the walls of protection around all witches warlocks wizards witch doctors any shamans satanists and break the power of all curses hexes vexes spells charms fetishes lord any psychic thoughts or all witchcraft sorcery magic voodoo hoodoo or mind control or bewitchments death destruction sickness pain torment psychic 
powers working against us in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is coming against your people, anything that's coming against their family or their loved ones today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray right now for all the forces of darkness that are working against your people today to be brought down low in the name of Jesus Christ. We are God's property. We can resist the devil and he must flee for us. We can say that no weapon has been formed or that is trying to form against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus gave us power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. We have been given a authority and power to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing by any means shall hurt us in the name of Jesus we take authority over this day all things in the name of Jesus with our armor on we place it on right now right now in the name of Jesus Christ the belt of truth the blessed breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith to fire off the fiery darts of the enemy. Lord, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Today, oh Lord, we only connect our will to your will today. We connect ourselves to the working of the cross and to every promise that God has provided for us in Jesus' righty name. Now, Satan, you are bound from our family, our minds, our bodies, our homes, our ministry, our health, our finances, our spirit, our soul this day. We confess that we are healed and made whole by the stripes of Jesus and we will flourish in Christ Jesus with long life, with stability, with durability, incorruptible, fruitful and virtuous. We are full of peace, love and the joy of the Lord. Whatsoever we set our hands to do shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. We claim a hedge of protection around ourselves and family throughout this day and night in Jesus' name. Right now we loose the fire of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, for a complete covering of the blood of Jesus Christ. And we ask this prayer today in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy fire, envelop each area of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, we receive fresh fire to run through the troops and leap over the wall in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father, arise with your fire of power and manifest your presence within our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is hindering the power of God within our life, let it be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus. Christ. We shall trample upon every serpent and scorpion today, then may they be powerless in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit fire, incubate our ears, our eyes, and our mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire of excellence from heaven, begin to burn in every area of our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power of failure today you shall no longer overcome us in the name of Jesus Christ for we shall succeed in Jesus mighty name every roadblock and obstacle that is stopping the flow of the anointing within our life must clear away today by fire in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord your throne, O Lord, is like a fiery flame, according to Daniel 7, 9, in Jesus' mighty name. O Lord, you are the God that answers by fire, according to 1 Kings 18, 24, in Jesus' mighty name. O Lord, a fire goes before you, O Lord, and burns up your enemies, according to Psalm 97, verse 3, in Jesus' mighty name. O Lord, release your fire and burn Burn up the works of darkness today in Jesus' mighty name. Oh Lord, baptize us with 
with the Holy Spirit and fire today according to Luke 3 16 in Jesus mighty name let your fire be in our hands to heal the sick and also cast out devils in the name of Jesus Christ let your fire burn within our eyes Lord our hearts our bellies our mouth and our hands and feet in Jesus mighty name let your fire be in each of our tongues to preach to prophesy we receive tongues of fire today in the name of jesus christ let your word be preached with fire as according to jeremiah 23 verse 29 in jesus mighty name make us a minister of fire as according to hebrews 1 verse 7 in Jesus mighty name deliver us with your fire according to Psalm 18 verse 13 in Jesus mighty name let your fire protect us and cover us according to Exodus 14 verse 24 in Jesus mighty name we release the fire of God to burn up the idols of the land in Jesus mighty name Holy Spirit purify us with your fire today in Jesus mighty name fire of God fall upon us now in the name of Jesus Christ evil deposit and all seed of the stranger within our body and our life be destroyed today by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit anoint us afresh today with fresh anointing with fresh fire lord to do great exploits in the name of jesus christ today holy spirit illuminate our life and the world with your unquenchable fire in the name of jesus christ oh lord we need fresh fire refire us now in jesus mighty name we declare right now that the devil is losing his ground he is losing his territory and i pray and come against every retaliation attack any reprisal attack it shall not come near their dwelling the blood of jesus covers them covers their family covers them from this day forth in the name of jesus christ as your cleaning people cleanse them and remain clean we come against every demon every arch enemy Holy Spirit I pray in the name of Jesus Christ remove every spiritual intruder from people's minds and fill their hearts and minds with your spirit with your presence Oh Lord that they may be hungry to read the word in the name of Jesus Christ we speak to that old devil right now because he cannot resist the word of God the most powerful weapon that we've got so we will start to declare your word right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now victory, victory that overcome the world. Lord, you have already overcome this world and we put our trust in you in Jesus mighty name. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. And we know that we are God's children. And therefore, Lord Jesus, we are able to cast down all demonic powers and spirit that may come against us in our family lives in Jesus mighty name we are not cursed but we are blessed we are blessed coming in and blessed going out we are above and not beneath we are the head and not the tail we are blessed and what God has blessed nobody can curse we are free and we are saved we are now exercising our faith and know that confession is made unto salvation all of our sins have been remitted and forgiven and we are loose from the curse that came as a result of disobedience and rebellion to the word of God thank you heavenly father thank you Lord Jesus thank you Holy Spirit for forgiving us and for loving us and we thank you for setting us free from every curse and spirit that may operate in our lives and any influence of this world father God we pray for discernment and for a new vision to help us to recognize and to resist all evil and all fleshly worldly ways we are anointed through the Lord Jesus Christ and we thank you Jesus for your guidance and your discipline Lord as we continue to be victorious soldiers oh Lord I pray lead us not into temptation the roots of sin may lie deep Lord at times within us but we pray Lord that as we watch and pray help us to watch our lives and when the inclination of sin or temptation arises within us help us by your
your grace to deal with it early and decisively. We need your Holy Spirit to do this. So help us today, Father. We thank you that you are the God of all grace. Our hope is in you, in your common grace. Lord, restrain the worst and promote the best, Lord, in our lives, in our communities, in our nations and in the world. Lord, where we have when we are tested, give us a special grace that we might be able to carry the load. Where we have failed, restore us. Oh Lord, we pray that you are our light and help us to turn again and to rise up. Save your people today. Deliver us, Lord, today. In the name of Jesus, we repent. Lord, on our behalf and also of our generational line for all manipulation that resulted even in the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of control, and for all rebellion that resulted in witchcraft, for all envy and jealousy of others, for personal recognition in the place of God's recognition, for operating out of our woundedness, for damaging others with words and actions, for blaming others instead of personal confession, for you using others for selfish purposes, for not protecting those who needed protecting, for those who portrayed relationships and released disunity, for leaders who used the church for their own purposes. In our generational line, from Adam to present, we break off the spirit of control and of this world and its influence today in Jesus' mighty name. We break all curses and assignments of the spirit of this world of control of witchcraft over ourself and over our generational line. Remove all ungodly spiritual things and evil networks connected to us and that has empowered us and our ancestors to be also brought down. Oh Lord, remove the veil from our head that hides us from others and God and bring us into your freedom today. Cut the cord that encircles our neck and our Lord, I pray that you would release each person that is in bondage today. Restore to us and our family line all that the enemy has stolen. Restore our health. Restore our finances. Restore godly authority. Restore relationships. We surrender our rights today completely to you. Lord, we pray that we will walk in the protective armor of God, that we will lead by grace and humbleness and mercy, that we will walk in unity also with our brothers and sisters. We will practice humility. We will practice hospitality. We will bless those who persecute us. We will be patient, loving and kind. We will be humble. We will honor others. We will edify and lift others up. We will be quick to forgive and we'll let all wrongs roll off of us. We rejoice in truth. We will protect, trust, hope and persevere. Lord, we declare that we are your child, that we are ruled by you and you are the Lord over all. I pray almighty that you will cover our minds today, cover our hearts today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, transform us change us saturate our mind with your truth so that we are convinced that the answers are found only in your word and not in this world lord i pray in the name of jesus christ though some may rise up against us lord i pray that you will deliver us you will set us free break right now all bondage over your people today let them embrace and know your love and your truth and your peace touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet oh lord i pray that every remnant of the spirit of this world is now being cast out of them sent back to the pit of hell every demon that needs to now go leave them now go leave them now every single one that's come in as an influence of this world you must come up and out of them leave come up and out of them leave come up and out of them leave every trace of you must come up and out leave come up and out and leave them your hold over them is now broken come up and out and leave them in jesus mighty name come and fill them with your spirit come and fill every void right now touch them fill them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet in jesus name we pray amen and amen this is pastor robert clancy coming to you from perth australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom 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 and if you've liked this message and also this prayer share it with someone today you can put it on repeat 
I know it's a long teaching, but I felt that we really needed to get that out because we are living in such times. May the Lord bless you. We have the four-day fasting starting Thursday. Make sure you join Africa. I am coming to Africa, starting in Kenya, going over to Zambia, then to Mozambique, then to to uh, South Africa, and then to Namibia, and then from wherever the Lord sends me after that. So may the Lord bless you. From my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.